White House has been informed that the 37th president, Richard Nixon, has died. Only moments ago, the president was informed, the senior staff was informed. Sources here tell us that uh, the president will be coming out into the Rose Garden probably within a uh, half hour or so to make a statement. His service to me and to our country during this period was like the rest of his service to the nation for nearly half century. He gave of himself with intelligence and devotion to duty. And his country owes him a debt of gratitude for that service. We face today a world of increasing uncertainty and difficult challenges. But it is a world of great opportunity, and no small part because of the vision of Richard Nixon during a particularly difficult period of the Cold War. All Americans, indeed all people throughout the world, owe him what he regarded as the ultimate compliment. He was a statesman who sought to build a lasting structure of peace. service kept him at the center of the events that have shaped our destiny. This week, Time magazine says that by sheer endurance, he rebuilt his standing as the most important figure of the post-war era. He moved on the world stage. He voiced bold ideas. And he left global footprints. But for all his world grasp, and mastery of global strategy. It was right here in this small house, in this little town in Orange County, that Richard Nixon learned and never forgot the values that shaped him and helped him shape our world. Dominance reflects strengths. Leadership must be earned. And Richard Nixon earned that leadership role for his country with courage, dedication, and skill. In the end, what matters is that you have always lived life to the hilt. Strong, brave, unafraid of controversy, unyielding in his convictions, living a every day of his life to the hilt, the largest figure of our time, whose influence will be timeless. That was Richard Nixon. How American. May God bless Richard Nixon. And may God bless the United States.
Today is a day for his family, his friends, and his nation to remember President Nixon's life in totality. To them, let us say, may the day of judging President Nixon on anything less than his entire life and career come to a close. May we heed his call to maintain the will and the wisdom to build on America's greatest gift, its freedom, to lead a world full of difficulty to the just and lasting peace he dreamed of.